is Thursday morning. Today is January 6, 2021, and it is snowing out like crazy outside. So right now I'm about to get my bibs on and get all snowed up and get outside and take care of all of these animals, these goats, these horses in this snowstorm. Oh, lived up. Now time for the boots. <laughs> Oh, I feel like a abominable snowman. Okay, time for a jacket. All right, got my hat on, got my boots on, got my boots on. Only thing is my jacket. Now at some point I'm probably gonna have to get, come back in and get some warm water to pour over this frozen water trough. I'll just have to play it by ear and just, just see how frozen the water is. All right, all ready, let's go. And Cooper's outside too. Wow, we definitely got like two inches already. And right now it's 27 out, so it's not that cold. It's supposed to get down to like um, 14. Hi, Cooper. What are you doing? Let's go take care of the goats. <laughs> yeah, you excited? It's your first year of snow, huh? Wow. Definitely have to get all the animals hay. Um, yeah, it's definitely like an inch. This is like nothing because I'm from upstate New York and I'm I'm used to this stuff. We've been here about 10 years. Hey, Cooper. <laughs> so I miss the snow. <laughs> Oh, I love it. <laughs> okay, so taking care of a bunch of livestock and animals and extreme snow. Um, the first thing, of course, is your water. So this is totally frozen um, all the way down. There's no bus in it, and the only way you can get it out is by slamming it down and busting it out. And the thing with doing that is you can't run your hoses unless you have an inside heated barn, which where I'm from, a lot of them did. We don't have that here. Um, so the best way to deal with that is to get yourself a five gallon pail of really hot water and you just make sure you pour the hot water over the, um, the water pail and that, you know, gives them some water to be able to drink immediately now the water in the barn is probably not frozen because it's like 15 degrees warmer in there so we don't have to worry about that <laughs> so uh let's go on and see what the girls are doing hopefully this latch is not frozen it's not all right let's go see what the girls are doing <sighs> I hear you, Cash. It's not totally wet in there. Sit down, dude. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Good boy. I know you're excited. All right, easy. Hi, girls. It looks like we got a little bit of water in here. Just a little bit. All right, nice and dry in here, huh? So, uh, what's Miss Rosie doing? She laying down? Hi, girls. It is snowing outside. You have no idea, do you? Shh. So, uh, the water's probably not frozen over there. <laughs> They're all pregnant and pissy. Let's get them some grain out on the other side and, uh, and take it from there. All right, I know you want to bring them to the other side. We're about to be doing that in a second here. Come on. Let's go dump the food. Got to 
remember there's pavers underneath the snow. My dad and I put some over here because it was all muddy. There's pavers under here. All right. At least this way the girls won't be stuck inside the whole time. So need to make sure the electric fence is uh, running because a lot of times snow it can actually ground out the wire, the hot wire. Wow, is it really snowing? Look at all that on me. Oh, it's so happy. It's amazing. So beautiful. You get some for the boys. Hey, Cooper. Them, they're great. No, you can't eat that. It's goat food. All right, I'm gonna put you in this new kidding stall that Grandpa made. Go on. Instead of locking you up on the chain. All right. And my dad made these two kidding stalls, so actually I can take them apart and make this into one big stall once the, after the babies are done being with their mommies. Hey, you ready to come out and check out what the snow's all about? This is also new too. These lashes. All right, girls, you ready? Lock them in. I'm gonna go let Cooper back out. Definitely gonna have to get some hot water for over here. Hey girls, you snow goats? Snow goats? <laughs> Pregnant snow goats. <laughs> All right, let's check this out. Yeah, totally frozen. So I just put some hot water over that and that will take care of the issue. You can just keep doing that, continue to do that instead of busting it out. And I've learned that's the best solution to the problem. <laughs> All right, let's see if the water froze. Nope, no frozen water in the barn. The barn tends to be 15 to 20 degrees warmer in here. Um, so I usually don't have an issue with it in here. Um, so yeah, this is where we also put this up so I can have a total of, uh, it looks like the condensation is leaking a little bit from the snow. Hopefully it doesn't weigh it down. We've not had that much on this barn yet. Um, so I can put another divider up here so I can have four kidding stalls and then they can just be removed once the babies are done and they just can go in the in the big stalls depending on which uh baby goats i retain or which ones i decide to let go to new homes to start a herd of their own so yeah that's super exciting i'm actually gonna throw these mommies some hay um because it's really cold out so they can stay warm that's another really important thing um with the cold and livestock and extreme storms is um, you wanna keep their bodies really warm. And the way you do that is by feeding hay, um, not even concentrates uh, like grain, they're important too, but hay roughage is gonna be what keeps them nice and warm. Um, girls, I think I'm gonna put this underneath a thing for you, okay? I'm gonna put this under the... Uh, yeah, under the overhang. Stay, Cooper. And I probably need to get straw. That's another thing, too, that you can keep your livestock really warm is make sure you pack everything down um, with straw, like where they're going to be bedded down because that will keep them nice and toasty, too. So I'm just going to put that in there for the girls as an extra to keep them warm. <laughs> Look at all that snow! So it's getting so snowy, I had to put my hood up. Because my head's starting to get wet. Okay, the next up is the boys. Uh, they need their grain, of course. Um, but they also need hay. And I want to put hay inside of their shed so they don't have to come out and get cold. And uh, 
they've got plenty of hay in their shed to keep warm right now they pulled it all over to place so it's kind of like acting like straw so i'm gonna go get hay and straw and then um the horses are whole <laughs> another deal all right you got my grain for the boys hey cooper we gotta go get some hay okay hey little man where's cash is he in the pen go get you some hay and i'll be right back here deke snickering wow that's it's like a winter wonderland hey girl there's my livestock guardian dog she is built for this stuff it doesn't phase her i guarantee you that stock tank is frozen hey guys i get you some hay too all right Horses first. Looks like I'm gonna have to bust open another bale, most likely. We could keep them nice and warm too. The donkeys and the horses. Oh, I'm hot in this bib, let me tell you. All right, guys. you guys look at all that snow huh Deke? hey bubba <laughs> i'm gonna try to throw it in the barn hank moves all right stay warm i'm gonna check your stock tank now stock tank is most likely frozen now this one's tougher because it's 90 gallons so i did fill it up yesterday all right so this one's not totally frozen um so if I kick my foot in it, that most likely should be fine. <sighs> Rolling under a fence. Okay. <laughs> that, that's probably frozen. All right. So this is, yeah, this is just like slush. See, that's fine. Um, so when this starts to freeze, I'm actually going to make sure you want to get your hose out of the stock tank. Before it freezes. You okay, dude? Um, in case you have to fill it. And then just bring out a five gallon pail of hot water if you have to make a couple trips and pour it over the top if you don't have a tank de-icer and that works just fine. Okay, back underneath the fence. <laughs> hey Cooper, what? Eat too much snow? <laughs> I just bring in you along with me because I uh, kind of want you guys to see what it's like taking care of livestock. It's not for the weary. It's not for anyone that just says it would be cool. It's a commitment and it's a lot of work. So I want you guys to be able to see the trials of tribulations and the not so glamorous side of keeping goats, keeping dairy goats, keeping livestock and caring for animals. It is worth it, but it is a lot of work. All right, now it's time for hay for the boys. I'm probably just gonna give them all that inside of their shed and I'll have to bust open. Always keep your bill in twine. You can use it for a lot of things, it's useful. Um, I'll have to bust open another after, um, later this evening. Usually when it's this cold, I like to do three, three daily feedings instead of two, um, just because it keeps them really, really, really warm. Actually, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get that grain because I don't want to make a second trip. Um, I'm just going to set it on top of my hay. Pick it up. All right. Just like that. So let's go on to take care of the boys. Uh, and then we'll have to um, get straw the girls for underneath the cab. Hey guys. Hi Cash. Look at you snow goats. 
Look at you, Cooper. Be nice. Hi, snow goats. Hi, snow goats. You stink. You stink even in the snow. Okay. Let's go. I'm probably going to have to put you guys down for a second. Maybe not, we'll see. Go in. in. Okay. Let's go over to the shed. You gotta check their water too because their water's probably frozen. So they've got a bigger stock tank than the girls. So. This in here. All right. Are we boys good? Yes. I'm gonna check the water, okay? All right. Let's go over and check the water. I am sweating. So another thing you have to be careful of when you're, you, you yourself are taking care of livestock is sweating. Um, the clothes that you wear are really warm and you're working really hard and you sweat. So you make sure you cool off when you get back inside. Yeah, this is just slushy. So that's going to be fine for now. Okay. Back to get straw. My camera is actually starting to get foggy. That's how cold it is out. So I'll have to clean that now. <laughs> So the girls are good under here. Got our hay and our straw. Well, I guess this will spend majority of their day under here, but at least they won't have to be cooped up in the barn. Right? I want my pregnant mama's cold. Hey girl, get off. So we gotta go check the electric fence now, okay? Okay, so like I said, the next step is to check the electric fence, uh, the converter box for the electricity makes the wire hot. Um, because a lot of times, I'll show you like the wire, the snow can build up on the wire and the insulators and where it goes into the converter box and it can ground it out. Um, so you just want to make sure, like mine's solar, it's got snow all on top of the converter right now. So I'm going to have to wipe that off and make sure that it's hot. All right. So here's my box. It's obviously totally covered. So it's going to wipe the whole thing off. You want to make sure you're going to have to wipe it off several times. So you see like where the snow is touching the wires? that can totally ground it out and um unfortunately you don't really have <laughs> much uh control over that um when it comes to electric fence and snow and water and stuff like that um but see how it's on the insulators i mean it, it says it's working and make sure it's clicking yeah i hear it clicking so it's hot so you just want to make sure you keep that clear several times in the day and if it grounds out it grounds out so i'm going to go inside now and get some hot water for the girls to pour over their uh, water pail in the pen all the other animals are good the water slush that's not frozen yet so i'm going to do that and i want to get in and get dry and uh thanks for watching subscribe to see the next video um thanks for hanging with me i just want to show you guys what it's like to take care of livestock and goats in an extreme uh snowstorm till next time i'll be blessed bye cooper